it's looking like it's finally over for Alex Jones, at least this chapter. And, you know, how self-inflicted was this? Alex just doesn't need to be in this position at all. He had years, over 10 years to stop with the Sandy Hook lies. And if he just would have backpedaled, then he still would have his multi-million dollar empire. And how sad is it that my man built a multi-million dollar empire off of wearing horse masks and tinfoil hats talking about interdimensional spiritual warfare between aliens and Satan. And people bought it up. People ate it up selling male enhancement supplements and all types of stuff. That's that's what he did. But then again, like I said, it was a slow creep. He had so many years to not be in this position. And he still, still pretends like he's a victim. So let's check this out. The Onion acquires Infowars dismantles Alex Jones's disinformation platform for satirical overhaul. There we go. Satirical publication, The Onion, has acquired Infowars, a notorious media platform founded by right-wing conspiracy theorist Alex Jones, known for peddling sensationalist and baseless claims. Infowars has now been absorbed into The Onion's comedic empire. This marks a significant shift in the platform's future as The Onion plans to replace its history of disinformation with a fresh, do fresh dose of humor. The acquisition reportedly gives The Onion control over Infowars' website, social media channels, <clears throat> product inventory, customer lists, and intellectual property. This major change comes nearly a year after Alex Jones faced a substantial legal reckoning following multiple lawsuits in 2022. Jones was ordered to pay $1.5 billion to families of Sandy Hook victims due to his false claims that the 2012 school shooting was a hoax. Again, years and years and years and years to stop doing it, but he just couldn't help himself. He just, he just couldn't stop. In September... A Texas judge ruled that Jones's assets, including Infowars, could be sold off to help cover these penalties, ultimately leading to Infowars' purchase by The Onion. <laughs> what an embarrassing downfall. While the exact cost of the acquisition has not been disclosed, The Onion was clear about its goals for Infowars. Quote, our mission with this acquisition is to end Infowars' relentless barrage of disinformation for the sake of selling supplements and replace it with The Onion's relentless barrage of humor for good, the publication stated in a recent release. The change does not seem to sit well with Jones, who expressed his discontent. We're about to watch that video in a second. Discontent in a video in a video following the announcement. In his response, Jones lashed out at The Onion, oddly referring to the Chicago-based publication as Connecticut Democrat. Connecticut Democrats. Connecticut Democrats. And criticizing the sale process. One notable part of The Onion's strategy includes a partnership with gun control advocacy group Every Town for Gun Safety, which will serve as an exclusive advertiser on Infowars under its new ownership. The partnership highlights The Onion's goal of reorienting, reorienting Infowars into a tool for education and awareness on critical issues, including gun safety. John Feinblatt, president of Everytown, shared his enthusiasm for the collaboration, stating, quote, it's fitting that a platform once used to profit off a tragedy will now help educate. We're proud to support a venture that stands to not only stop the spread of harmful disinformation, but also advance awareness about gun safety and accountability in the industry. So now we're going to go ahead and check out Alex Jones freaking out about it. Uh, but again, you know, it's hard to have any sympathy for this man because at the end of the day, he put himself here and he had years and years and years to not be in this situation. So let's check out what he has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 7.50 right now. I'm about to upload this to X. I just got word 15 minutes ago uh, that my lawyers and folks met with the U.S. trustee over our bankruptcy uh, this morning. And they said well, they're shutting us down even without a court order uh, this morning. Uh, the Connecticut Democrats with the Onion newspaper uh, bought us. They asked, did they outbid? They said, well, it was competitive. So they changed all the bidding rules, made it secret two days ago. I had a bad feeling. I told you that. And just like they tried to shut us down back in late May without a court order, they're supposed to have a court order. There's going to be injunctions filed. I'm about to go live out of Harrison's American Journal studio. I don't know what's going to happen, uh, but I'm going to be here until they come in here and turn the lights off. I'm going to say, where's your court order? Uh, so this is all going down right now. They want to silence the American people, uh, but we're not going to be silenced. Be sure and follow me at the Alex Jones Network at AJN Live uh, on X right now. They're following court to take real Alex Jones away. That's totally unconstitutional. The judge already said no, so they filed in other courts. Uh, so the live feed going up by the time you see this at AJN Live and at real Alex Jones right now. Share this everywhere. This is a total attack on free speech. The deep state is completely out of control. 
Uh, the private security hasn't even been told all this yet. They try to tell them last time the other U.S. trustee to shut us down on the court order. Uh, you know, these folks said no. Uh, so this is all happening right now. This is the tyranny of the New World Order, desperate to silence the American people. The mandate of Trump against all the lawfare, they don't care. So the system still thinks it's in charge. I'm going live right now from what probably will be the last transmission from this building. God bless you all for your support. Uh, please support our sponsors so we get funds to stay on the air at the Alex Jones Network, thealexjonesstore.com. Take action. I need your support. InfoWars is really the detonator for this whole global movement that's happening. Your support did that. You're the reason it's happening. You are the resistance. God bless and good luck. My man's whole entire life has fallen apart. And again, it's all because of him. How can you feel sorry for this guy? How can you possibly do it? But now we're going to be getting, I guess, a little bit more appropriate humor from The Onion after they acquired InfoWars. Hey, now, thank you so much for tuning in here at Politics and Paper. If you like what I do and you support my work, go ahead and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it and it really helps to support what we do here.